In this video, we will discuss point groups. Point groups are simply a filter of points that share common characteristics. Some example uses of point groups are to perform specific tasks such as creating break lines that will eventually be used to create a surface, override a set of points default layers or point style or label style, or maybe you just want to create a point group that contains ground points, allowing it easier to create your surface and manage the points used to create that surface. Point groups are stored in the Prospector tab in the Point Groups collection here. You'll notice here that when a point group is out of date, it'll actually warn you with this symbol, telling you that points have been added into the drawing that match the criteria defined in this point group. To update point groups, you simply right-click on them. If you want to update all of them, you can simply right-click up here and choose Update, and now those points have been added to that point group. Let's go ahead and edit this one just to see what it looks like. We'll right-click on it and choose Properties. As you can see, you define point groups based upon different criteria. You can use point groups, raw descriptions, you can actually type them in or select them from the drawing. You can then exclude points. We'll skip over the query builder as this is what's shown after these two have been edited. And then you can override points based upon the properties defined here. The point list simply lists the points in this point group. Let's create two point groups in this drawing because let's say we are ready to plot our points, the points that we want to plot, and we want to create point groups to actually leverage that. Let's go ahead and right click on here and choose new. And the first one that we'll create is one called underscore no display. And this will be basically used as a point group to include all the points and then we will eventually override them with a no display property. So what we'll do is we'll click on the include tab and toggle on include all points. Then we'll navigate to the Overrides tab, toggle on both the style and the label style, and make sure that they are set to none. Click OK. As you can see, they all just disappear. So point groups have a priority. This allows you to prioritize what points you'll see and what label or point styles they will use. So now we want to create a point group just for plotting. We'll go ahead and right click on here and choose New. And we'll call this one for plotting. We'll use the default style of X mark and a default label style of description only. This will only be used if the description key set does not override and is set to default. If they are being overridden by the description key set, the points themselves will use those point styles and label styles. So let's go ahead and click on raw description matching. And what we're going to do here is simply add in the points that we want to plot. So we're going to have combo poles that will plot, the trees, a drill hull. We'll skip over the rest of these here. We'll do existing hydrant, electric pole, and electric manhole. Let's say we want the guy wire to also be plotted. Maybe any horizontal vertical controls, any signage, sewer and storm manholes, and that'll do it. Then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on the Overrides tab. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we only override the point label style with the description only. We don't want to override the symbol with an X mark. We want the symbol, which is probably being defined by the description key, to actually show the real symbol of that point. Let's click OK. And as you can see, very easily and simply, we now have points that we want to use just for plotting. This is a quick and really easy way to simply generate the points that you want to plot with and their description as well. Really, really cool stuff and a huge time saver.